In this video, we'll compare and contrast the male versus female German Shepherd. We'll do this by looking at five different categories. First, personality differences. The German Shepherd is one of the most popular dogs because of its intelligence and protective nature. So what's the difference between the male and the female? Well, the male is more dominant, possessive, and proud, while the female is more affectionate and gentle. Males are territorial of their home, yard, and prop. Females are less possessive of their belongings, and they tend to get along well with their handlers and people in general, so they tend to be more protective of humans rather than the things. However, female German Shepherds can become too dependent, which could result in jealousy and resulting in them lashing out. So in general, their personalities are all dependent on how you train them early on. These dogs are very smart and very protective and are eager to please. But the male is more dominant and possessive, whereas the female is most interested in pleasing its owner. Number two, we'll take a look at the socialization differences between the male and the female. Even though a male German Shepherd likes every member of its family, he prefers bonding with his handler who spends the most time with him. For a female, she bonds not only with her handler, but also the entire family, and even tolerates outsiders. Females are loving and gentle with children, but a male German Shepherd is playful with children, which sometimes could hurt them if not controlled or trained. So both of these dogs can be socialized exactly how you want them, safe and effective, if done correctly early on. That is why the German Shepherd is so popular. If you train them correctly early, you will have it the exact dog that you want. Safe, loving, smart, and protective. Number three, let's talk about the training differences between the male and the female. Since male German Shepherds are proud, it can be more challenging to train them than their female counterparts. However, they excel more when they are used as police dogs because they are good at apprehending criminals. Female German Shepherds mature early, so they have the edge on males in terms of learning tasks. Females are more sensitive and more focused, so they excel in agility training because they are faster and smaller. However, they can be easily distracted during training when they are in heat unless neutered. Males can be easily distracted during training as well when they sense a female in heat. So, both of these dogs need to be trained. The German Shepherd wants to please you and is a working dog that is ready to go. So, if you train a male, just know that they are proud and sometimes stubborn. If you train the female, notice that she is sensitive and will take to positive reinforcement rather than negative. Number four, let's look at the physical differences between the male and the female. Let's start with the obvious difference. Males are masculine while females are feminine with delicate and more refined features. As for the size, the male is taller, bigger, and heavier. He has a larger head and broader body while the female is noticeably smaller and lighter. The size of the male can be intimidating and impressive, but the size of the female is useful as well. If you happen to see larger females or a smaller male, these are exceptions. As for height, the male is 24 to 26 inches tall, where the female is 22 to 24 inches. As for weight, the male can be anywhere from 65 to 120 pounds, while the female is more 50 to 80 pounds. A quick reminder to subscribe. We make dog videos so that you and your family can make the best decision on your next pet. So when deciding between a male and female German Shepherd, if size matters to you, then that will make the decision much easier. If you want a smaller dog, you'll go female. If you want big and intimidating, you will go the male.
So finally, we look at what you should choose when deciding between a male and a female German Shepherd. It depends on your preference. Inform the breeder of your specific characteristics you are looking for. Be clear of your purpose in buying a German Shepherd, as it can range from police and military all the way to just a family dog. You need to make sure that they understand what you're looking for. If it is feasible, observe male and female German Shepherd puppies playing together. You'll be able to tell a lot more than you think by these puppies playing. If you're planning to breed a German Shepherd, getting a female is an option. But breeding German Shepherds is taken very seriously. This is a big time dog with a strong history and won't be taken lightly if it's done incorrectly. And you can't go wrong with either one. They're smart, protective, and ready to please you and your family no matter what job you have in store. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.